Does the thought of a silver squeeze get you excited? We need to take a look at some news, some information I'm receiving from people all around the world regarding the supply of silver. We need to look at these facts and decide, are we indeed heading toward a silver squeeze? And most importantly, I want to talk with you about something regarding the silver market that no matter how we slice it or dice it is an absolute fact and does point toward continued robust demand and higher, higher prices for silver as we head into the coming years and decades. Let's get started right now. We got a lot to talk about regarding this potential for a silver squeeze. Wouldn't that be great if the price of silver skyrocketed? But before I do that, I just wanted to tell you, yes, you, from wherever in the world you're joining me, thank you for being here right now in Ron's basement. I honor the fact that you've decided to spend a little bit of your precious time with me. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe right here. You can give the video a thumbs up, turn on the bell notification, but leave a comment in the comment section below. Your thoughts are important. We want to learn from you and about you. Now, what's going on with silver? That's what you came here for, right? Let's start with the Perth Mint. Apparently, I'm getting information that the Australian Perth Mint, the national mint for the country of us, Australia, is out of silver, sold out. Now, that's very interesting because they are also being investigated by an internal investigative organization, kind of like the FBI, I guess, of Australia, regarding some illegal business practices. Things are dicey when it comes to the Perth Mint in Australia right now. Now, if we travel all the way over to the United Kingdom, we are hearing that the Royal Mint in the United Kingdom isn't saying they're sold out, but when people go to put orders in to buy new products, they're being told there's like a three to four month wait until they'll get their product. So. I guess, you know, for all intensive purposes, right, we could say that they're sold out. Three to four months is a long time to wait. Now, part of that may have to do with the fact that the queen died and there's been a surge in demand to get coins that have the queen's image on them. But nonetheless, the royal mint of the UK is also showing some serious, serious strain. When I said earlier that you're joining me from all over the world, that is a fact. People watch my videos from every corner of the planet. That's why I have the benefit of being able to share this information with you. I appreciate the emails. I appreciate the comments in the comment section below. Let us know where you are. Is silver available? This becomes very, very useful information as we analyze the situation in the silver market. I've also received emails from people in Holland telling me that it's becoming increasingly difficult to find physical silver in Holland. Other countries throughout the world, Africa, parts of Asia, I'm also hearing of it becoming more and more difficult to acquire physical silver. Now, Set all that aside, actual shortages, not being able to get coins or bars at coin shops or retailers. Think about this. Even the silver that is available is only available when the buyer is willing to pay huge, huge premiums. Premiums throughout the world have gotten absolutely ridiculous. That only points to one thing super high demand for physical silver throughout the world. If there wasn't high demand, the retailers would not be able to charge such ridiculously high markups. I remember not too long ago only paying a dollar or two over spot to get American Silver Eagles. This market we're in right now only points towards super robust demand. We want our silver and eventually those market forces will catch up with the price. We want the price of silver to go up, correct? Well, we aren't the only ones. There's 2.6 billion people in India who apparently also want the price of silver to go up. They are set to import 260 million ounces of silver this year. 
Let me point out to you that's almost a third of the total mine production of silver throughout the world for the year. There is robust demand not only in North America, South America, Europe, but also India and Asia. Just last night, I heard Keith Newmeyer, one of the kings of the silver mining industry, he's the CEO of First Majestic Silver. He said, I'd love to buy a nice juicy silver mine, but there just aren't any out there to be had. And according to the Silver Institute, mine production continues to decrease. Now, we don't have to be Harvard-trained economists. I don't think most of us are. But we can understand Ronomics, and when the supply of silver is going down, 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 it's harder and harder for the mining companies to find silver, to mine silver. That's only going to provide robust support for the price as we move into the coming years. And those of you who follow the inventory level on the COMEX, the world's major silver exchange, tell me that the inventory levels there, the inventory of actual physical silver they have to back up all these derivative contracts, they have like paper contracts on 400 plus ounces of silver for each one physical ounce of silver they have in their inventory, those inventory levels continue to decrease at record rates. That only points towards one thing, guys. When we look at the big picture of what's going on, we look at all the facts that I mentioned, at minimum, it shows that there's increased demand for silver in the coming years and decreased supply. Does that mean for sure that we're going to have a silver squeeze? Nobody can say that for sure. Anyone who does is lying to you. It's very, very possible. And the one thing we can say for sure about the silver market is that it's like Ron from Ron's Basement. It's very sensitive. I'm a sensitive guy and the silver market is very sensitive. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And what wiggle room there was in the silver market because of decreased supply and increased demand is becoming smaller and smaller, which means the price movements will become more and more sensitive as we move into the coming years and decades. We'll look forward to higher prices. I'll be here for you through it all here in the basement. You're always welcome. We'll get through this together. If you'd like to watch another video, you can do that right here. Until next time, you be well.